you chilly? Oh. Okay. This mug is not getting driven. So you already know. If you don't have one of these, man, I don't know what to say to you. Just know you don't want your car to flourish. Now tuned into the greatest. Turn the music up in the headphones. What is up, YouTube? It has been a minute since um, I've uploaded on this channel. I don't know. I've been kind of busy. Um, holiday season coming up so I don't know I've been a little bit busy but um, as you see uh, I did reach the 1000 mile mark now I'm at 1300 um, I probably gotta take maybe a 400 mile trip pretty soon um, but this is my thousand mile review that I like to do in cars I think it's weird to kind of review a car after only driving it for a little bit or I try to do different mile markers so you can kind of get a sense of how I'm feeling throughout ownership um, I did it with the Range Rover and the Range Rover changed dramatically at this a thousand mile mark I was obsessed and then by the 20,000 mile mark I'm like get me out of here <laughs> Camaro it's been obsessed a thousand mile 20,000 obsessed 30,000 obsessed I just love that thing um so it'll be interesting to see what what this is um right now a thousand miles in um it's it's dope um the so my fuel economy right now, so 1,311 miles. Um, I'm getting 18.4 miles per gallon. And I wanna say um, that is lower than what I was supposed to be getting. Yeah, oh, well, no, I, I guess it's right on. It's 18 miles per gallon in the city, 25 highway, 21 combined. This is mostly done city driving other than maybe 300 miles of that is probably highway so it's right on target with 18 I kind of wish I was more in the 21 miles per gallon range but I guess for the way I drive which is kind of aggressive and just my city driving that's what I'm gonna get um, it is what it is uh, yeah so I need to do something with this. I don't know why I'm keeping it in the glove box. So a thousand miles in, I really enjoy the the space in here. I it's it's pretty roomy compared to the Q5. It is quite a bit bigger almost. It's just wider. It's it's everything. There's more space inside. Um, it, it it's a nice environment to drive in. The steering wheel. Uh, the heated steering wheel turns on every time you get in the car pretty much well now it's colder but pretty much anytime under 60 degrees it's gonna turn on so feels nice but then it starts to burn your freaking hand uh, seat warmers work really nice I know in some Chevy vehicles the seat warmer is not it's pretty much not it but here it's very nice I like driving this a lot because of the options in here which make it a lot would, which make it a nice environment uh, and it's a pleasant experience I would say um, one thing I do want to note and it's kind of weird to say this but I'm gonna say it anyway there's a weird squeaking in in this car when I when I turn and like it's not like a level surface so if I turn and kind of hit a bump it's like er, er, and you can hear it in I want to say it's in the back like back right or back left but you can hear it and it's annoying and I don't know what it is but like it was crazy because I heard it maybe the first day I took the car I didn't hear it on the test drive so for the people that are gonna be like hey, you, 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 you. I didn't hear it on the test drive 
Uh, maybe that's why I got a really good deal because they're like, hey, this shit, this, this thing is messed up. <laughs> but so I heard it like on the first couple days of driving the car, and I'm like, hmm, maybe it'll go to what? Maybe it'll go away after 500 miles. I don't know what I was thinking. Break in, break in. Um, so I heard it and I was like, that's weird. And so it's just kept happening. I didn't take the car in cause I didn't want them to keep it for like a week. And I wanted to get it wrapped and I wanted to get everything done. Looking back on it, if I take the car in and they're like, hey bro, we can't fix this. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, we'll get your money back. I'm gonna look dumb because I've already spent three grand on exterior stuff. Uh <laughs> Uh, with that being said, so that's probably the only negative I would say with the car is that I have some weird squeaking and uh, my fuel and my fuel economy. I kind of wish it was a little bit better, but I'm always going to complain about that and I should just get a Prius and I won't say anything. Okay. But in terms of, I really love the infotainment here. It is just a thing of beauty. The infotainment has been just beautiful in this car. Everything seems to work perfectly. Um, it's fast, it's responsive. It's what I like about Chevy. Um, I can always rely on the infotainment to kind of, you know, get me through my freaking life. Uh, navigation works good. I'm actually even, I need your help. I'm actually even thinking about adding the, I think it's $30 for a limited Wi-Fi hotspot in the car. I loved it when I had it for the free trial. And I'm actually thinking about, you know, getting that because I think that would make life a lot better. Um, but everything else, I, I have no complaints. Oh, wait, sorry one more complaint auto stop start it can't be turned off does anybody care you can't turn it off you literally can't i know what people are gonna say hey bro you can just mod it or buy some software that'll turn it off and i'm definitely looking i'm definitely gonna look into that because I cannot do it anymore. I tried, I really did. I, I tried my best and I know, I, I know, I tried. I just can't, I can't. Auto stop start, it's freaking annoying. There's no button to turn it off. Every car I've been in, there's a button. <laughs> there's a button to turn it off. But now they're like, no dude, we want you to have a good fuel economy. We're gonna keep it on and there's nothing you can do about it. So guess what? I'm gonna figure out a way. Dang, I thought you'd be able to hear this squeaking. Um, yeah, so auto stop start, that's annoying, but <laughs> everything else has been cool. Uh, it's a big fuel tank. I mean, it's a big, like, you know, uh, uh, yeah, a big fuel tank. So there's driving by my old house. Oh, they're, they're a bulldog family. I just saw them. Um, so it's a big fuel tank. And uh, it's about 40 something dollars to fill up when you're close to empty uh, regular gas. Um, they say they want you, no, here's what they say. They say regular is what you should put in. But if you want, I don't know, great performance or great um, like reliability long, long, long term, then you should probably invest in just putting in premium. But don't care that much uh yeah so we've been putting regular gas in everything else just seems cool uh wireless charger works cool speakers sound amazing car has been dope car has been dope we will figure out something to do with those wheels but um thousand miles in dang i really want you to hear this squeaking uh thousand miles in it uh everything seems pretty cool pretty cool no complaints i still haven't drove it that much Squeak. Damn. Wait, you're gonna hear it. I, I refuse to let you leave without hearing it. And if you're not even, if you made it this far in this video, now you're invested with me. Oh, did you hear that? It was there. So it's weird. Like, I don't know what they're gonna say. I'm gonna give them the car. 
and be like, bro, 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 we gotta do something. So, yeah. Um, I have free maintenance or whatever that is, uh, free oil changes or free whatever, but obviously under warranty, they gotta pretty much try to fix this squeaking, whatever it is, I don't know what it is. But, yeah, that's for another day. Um, we got more videos on the way. I wanna do my uh, top five things I love about this car, because it's pretty cool, and top five things I hate. You probably already guessed a couple. So, <laughs> that's what it is. And yeah, now I'm going to return Amazon um, impulse purchases at Kohl's. So have a nice life. Mark Kick, subscribe, like the video, man, and more Blazer videos will be on the way.